now. Right. But I can't eat the pizza. The city, when I was getting, uh, when I was kicked to the curb, City Slice was my. Let me turn the volume down. So, anyways, no, dude, there was nothing wrong with your pizza. But when I started eating it, um, the wings, though, the wings have been. I was, I was very impressed. I was like, man, look at you, man. That's been a good cult. We've gotten a cult following for that. So. Freestanding. The, the tacos are also it's nice. There. Ni- it's nice not to right. spend a thousand dollars on two tacos. Yeah. Not I naming know. any names or I anything. Know. I know. All right, is the microphone hot? No, government. So Facebook, can you hear me? <clears throat> All right. So make sure your phone's on. Uh... Let me know when you're ready to can kick this bad boy off. Yeah. Let me just. I'm all. All I'm gonna do is share. Taylor, I'm just gonna do a share and then. See, it's a good thing I need a second. So this is for your purposes. This show is super laid back. Um, it's a 20 minute segment, but I really, no, we're th- going to talk for 20 minutes. Yeah, but it's yeah, going to go yeah, by quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so, so the, the fun thing is what I really want to talk about is, and I'll bring it up. And if you're listening on Facebook live, I'll, I'll tell you, um, somebody told me the other day that, that shorter cooks at Zippy's, I don't know if I told you this, $25 an hour. What? Zippy's shorter cooks that the posting was $25 an hour. And I was like, Man, I like being a lawyer, but jeez, man, I've flipped some. Uh, I mean, we can talk about that. I mean, I mean, I mean, is are you? I would imagine the problem with a scarcity of of employees is you're you're leaning on the ones you got that are staying, and so you either have to pay them more because yeah, they're doing that, more responsibilities. That's, that's been the hardest part. So uh, we can talk about all that. <clears throat> but I can speak to that mentality of the twenty five dollars. Yeah, I'm going to do a two minute intro though, and. Great. All right, this is your host, Franz Borkart. Welcome to another episode of the Go Rouge Radio Show. If you're listening on Talk 107.3 or on Facebook Live, welcome to the show. This is episode 83. In the first half of our show, we have Stephen Hightower from the City Group Hospitality Group. Going to be talking a little bit about the Baton Rouge food scene. In the second half, we're going to have some crazy ladies in the house. They're not crazy. We've got Courtney Tucker, Brittany Duke, and Tiffany Tuminello, uh, three ladies who are in the real estate industry, talking about working together, talking about competition, not always just being competition. A little bit of a little bit of discussion about synergy. We're going to talk some other things like fashion. We're going to talk about real estate. Um, we're going to talk about the fact that all their names end in any y wait tiffany's doesn't she's an a n y uh although Brittany, Brittany could be an a e y a n y anyways so before we jump into Stephen hightower for our first segment let's thank our show sponsors these are the men and women the businesses that make the go roost show possible first and foremost dr g dr gunja rhina from md vip heal 360 dr rhina.com this is my concierge doctor i highly recommend you reach out to her uh, Dr. G, accessible 24-7. If you've noticed, I've dropped a few pounds. Stephen, I don't know if you noticed, I've dropped a few I think, LBs. I think I figured that yeah, out. yeah. I'm down 64 pounds now. I'm down 64. Uh, many, awesome. many pounds in credit to Dr. G. Definitely give her a holler. La Divina Italian Cafe serving select wines, ice cold beer, plus their exclusive sorbet mimosa. Check them out for hot coffee, hot tea, or their sor- sorbet mimosa. The Borkart Law Firm, one of the finest criminal defense firms in the universe taylor one of the finest criminal defense firms in the universe is that, is that like self proclaimers or is there science i mean i don't really that? know how you measure finest criminal defense firm it's pretty darn good you got some data though i've got some data i've yeah. got some empirical data some empirical evidence to back that up and last but not least sullivan steakhouse your neighborhood steak restaurant check us out on every other tuesday for knockout tuesdays um all right so without further ado we've got we got talent in the house this morning taylor we got talent. We've got Stephen Hightower. Stephen, how are you doing, my friend? I'm doing great, Franz. So people normally know you as a as a restaurateur, right? So you you are with the City Group Hospitality Group. 
How many restaurants in Baton Rouge are you, if you if you're comfortable talking about this, are you affiliated <laughs> with? I mean, City Pork, yes, Concepts, mm-hmm. right? Um, Beausoleil, Beausoleil, um, Rouge Creole, Rouge. Oh, I like Rouge. Thank you. Rouge is, you know, people they ask me about Rouge, and I'm like, you know, Rouge is a good, solid, diverse restaurant. Um, I have gone there a few times. I have not been back in the lot since I've been on the diet train. I haven't been back. But when I talk about good, solid South Louisiana food, when I have out of town folks in town, I'm like, you need to check out Rouge. It's become that, that, that South Louisiana staple. Um, so you're, you've kind of got your fingers in some restaurants, yeah, right? I mean, I mean, we've got a little pizza joint called city slice. Oh some dude. Pizza. So the best thing about city slice, I'm going to throw this out here, Taylor, besides having a phenomenal pizza, good chicken wings and tacos, man, reasonably f- priced, tacos you know some of these taco places out there it's like they put gold flakes in the tacos and they charge you like like gold flakes in the taco prices not at city port man very good tacos so look had you on because i want to talk about the baton rouge food team we got a lot of a lot of things to talk about steven so first and foremost if you've been paying attention to the media um what we know as outsiders is food costs up um labor force unavailable down down so sure. talk to me about so in the in the pandemic just to make sure everybody understands this you and and several other several other restaurant owners <clears throat> restaurant tours participated in helping a a bunch of restaurants come together uh selling gift cards to help promote the restaurants your initiative for that was called i mean better together baton rouge restaurant coalition yes. so thank you for that right thank you all for right. supporting everybody um well the, i had the easy part in the job man mm-hmm. i just had to go eat Right, like, right. like that was the the easy part in the job was, hey man, we need you to help the restaurants out. What what can I do? We just need you to go eat or buy a gift card. Right, right. And so, thank you for that. So we're now at the other end of the pandemic. We're coming out of it. You don't have to wear masks twenty four seven anymore. Um, labor, labor, and food scarcity. Talk to me about what that landscape is like for Baton Rouge in your experience. Well, for us right now, it's it's clearly the the next set of challenges after you know we get through you know we go through lockdown then then this slow build to where we are right now with regulations uh diminished and back to normal operations and i think the whole world wanted to get back out so right right so we've got you know busy restaurants a lot of people celebrating in some cases more than normal you know so so the demand is there so the demand is totally there now we've got a situation for a lot of different factors where people aren't coming back to work. Okay. Uh, I think part of it too, Franz, is look, people that were in the restaurant business that believed in it as a career, you know, we were, you know, throw the lockdown out, one of those businesses that, you know, had to lay the majority of people off too. So, you know, did they go find other avenues to go to work? I, I don't know, but you throw that in with, you know, challenging fast food places like Chick fil A that's offering $13 an hour. So, uh, so Stephen, I'm entry level employees. I'm at thirteen dollars an hour at Chick Fil A. That's right. I heard the other day. <clears throat> this may be fake news, Taylor. I heard the other day. I read the other day. Um, there is at least one Baton Rouge restaurant, Zippy's, and and, and Zippy's. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Twenty five dollars an hour for shorter to cook. Right. That's a lot of clams. Like well, I make lawyer money. That's a lot of money for being a short order cook. Not that a short order cook isn't a, a vital part of the restaurant, but dude, you would think that that at that kind of rate, man, I mean, if you paid me twenty five dollars an hour to toss pizzas at City Slice, sure. I'd have a second I job. I mean, that's the thing. It, it's you know everybody's had to change their model to some some extent. Right. So you know I don't know which restaurant you're talking about, but I would assume that this could be an operation that you know can is probably a quick service type, right, right, type right, right, place. Right, right. So if you're able to generate that income and so, but I can tell you, I've been doing this way too long to know what the business model looks like and it's, right. it's just not sustainable. So, you know, as we're, you look, our, our, I think it's been good that this has been a little bit of a trigger for increased wages for, for our employees. But at the end of the day, especially look, we're, we opened up the new city pork on Highland at Perkins. I mean, I have to have, 10 to 15 people working in our kitchen right. on one shift just to produce that type of volume. And if everybody was making $25 an hour, I wish we could do that. So, but it just doesn't work. So you mentioned the new concept. Talk to me a little bit. I've heard, I've heard good things. I haven't yeah. been out there yet. Um, as you know, and if you're listening to the show, I don't 
I don't imbibe anymore. So maybe I get some mocktails while I'm out there. Um, got them. But, but talk to me about the new concept. I've heard good things about the bar area. I've heard good things about the food, obviously. Um, and then talk to me about what it's like opening up a new concept mm-hmm. 2021 July. Well, the new concept is is, is still City Port proper. I mean, right. we, we took basically the menu that we have on Jefferson. We had the opportunity to move into an unbelievable building right. in, in the former Adrian space. It came with a charbroil oyster grill and a okay. great setup to shuck oysters and do all these things. An incredible bar space and and a platform to build a patio. So when we were when we were going through it, looking at all the design aspects, not only from physical but also menu design, it was. You know, okay, we can make this a super cheese and charcuterie bar and get rid of the oysters, maybe do our chops out there, whatever. But I was like, you know, oysters, kind of like cheese and charcuterie was, you know, eight years ago, that it it was only on a few menus. City Pork was a forerunner in that. Now it's on every menu. You were kind of a pioneer in the big board uh, game. It was was definitely evolved. It was evolving around us, but we were, I hope, a leader in that. Uh, but oysters is kind of the same thing. I mean, it's really tough to go to, to any restaurant now where you can't find char grilled oysters or baked, whatever version people are doing. So I was like, let's figure out how do we sit city port char grilled oysters. So we got some great new flavors like our bourbon and bacon, brie and bacon. We, we incorporated, uh, a bunch of different things, but still have the classics like the Rockefeller and, and the classic char grilled. So. so I want to talk food costs for a second, mm-hmm. cause if you're, if you're, if you're, I like to read diverse things that have nothing to do with criminal defense or criminal justice. Um, I've heard the, I've read that the cost of meat has skyrocketed. Mm-hmm. Uh, chicken wings, you know, I'm a fan of chicken wings. That's right. um, cost of meat has skyrocketed. Uh, are we as consumers, if you were forecasting, I'm not talking mm-hmm. about your restaurants, but in general, are we as consumers, Taylor and I, going to start experiencing that when it comes time to pay our tab? based on the skyrocketing food or do you think there will be some kind of equilibrium down the road on that i think that you're going to feel it short term for sure i think that you're going to see people that have probably already raised their prices and you know right now it's it it is hard i mean it's crazy to think that a month ago we couldn't even get wings i mean we are very fortunate to have a incredible storage facility so we were able to and now with our the you know the scale of our restaurants we can make big orders we can get ahead of some of these market trends but yes for the the small restaurant in baton rouge i'm sure it's been extremely tough i mean a month ago you on, we they were almost out of uh all oil fry oil that they were what getting, was that about that was <laughs> just a combination of of the big chains wings being something that's okay. popular everybody pre-buying and it drains the market and there was nobody there to go back to the factories to work <sighs> so I, I think that you know, at least this past week, we saw some loosening in those in that price market, and then all of a sudden, the grocery stores decided they wanted to start playing ball with big orders. So they knocked everything down because they're trying to mimic the profits of 2020 when that was the only place you could go and spend money. So I, w- I made the mistake of going into Costco recently. Yeah, it's changed, and I recognized some folks that run restaurants buying large quantities of things from Costco. That's right, and I was like. I've never worked in the food and beverage, mm-hmm. beverage industry before, but I was sitting there thinking to myself, is that where you normally get your stuff, Costco? But, I mean, it was like, it was odd the stuff I was seeing. It was like one dude was loading up, was raiding their Topo Chico. Um, I don't know what that was about. But but, <laughs> but it was a lot of it was a lot of counterintuitive purchasing that I was just like, okay. You and know? That's what you had to do. Yeah. I, mean, that, I mean, look, and that was something that I, 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 I didn't have to end up using Costco, but the call was made on right. on you know our pork pork shoulder just to see what we could get in a in a bulk bulk buy okay so you know it's across the board it's, it's been something that's been fascinating i think that i think we're starting to see some loosening on that as people get back to work i think the enormity of the amount of states now i think it's 17 or 18 now that have, have you know uh concluded on the extended benefits mm-hmm. which i think you know i appreciate our governor looking into that at least and doing making that same move i think this past week we've had more people applying so you know, I think it's going to come back. I think that prices are going to st- remain high, but uh, you know, we've been very fortunate not to have to pass that on to the customer yet, and that's our goal is to continue to, to try to deliver the best value that we can to our guests. So, we're if you're just now tuning in, you're listening to the Go Rouge Show. We're talking to Stephen Hightower from the City Group Hospitality Group. Um, you're also involved in some of the 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 um, the Fed events too, right? I mean, oh, yeah, yeah I'm I mean, board you, member for the Epicurean yeah, Society. Yeah, Epicurean Society. I got to talk to you about Bosley. Okay. I got to talk to you about Beausoleil. Um, I liked Beausoleil before you had your fingers in it. Um, but man, oh man, mm-hmm. Beausoleil today, uh, the food, I, I have 
you know, people ask me all the time. I get probably like you, I get text messages. Hey, going out to eat. These are, these are the facts. What do you think? Where should I go? Having a romantic date. Where should I go? Having a brunch somewhere. Where should I go? And I am finding Stephen, I'm not just saying this cause you're here. Mm-hmm. I'm finding that Beausoleil is making that list of recommendations. Dude, I sat out there before it got oppressively hot outside. Right. I was sitting out with the, the shaded umbrellas, mm-hmm. and I'm like, this is like, and the food was good before. It's just extra nice now. It's like, um, by the way, tuna tataki, oh, so good. Dude, the tuna. Have you gone to Beausoleil, man? Have you gone? Have you hit up Beausoleil? I have not. I mean, I've been to Rouge. I've been to City Slice, City dude, Pork. Have not dude, been to Beausoleil. S- ser- seriously, I'm not just saying. I that. hear great things. It is. It is. It is by far on my top five best restaurants in Baton Rouge. That's what I hear. I, you're not the only um, person that's told me that. Now, granted, the other side of this for me is I'm on a pescatarian diet and I eat a lot of raw, so okay. it, I get you a lot of raw. raw yeah. Right. Um, the flounder sa- when y'all had the flounder <clears> sandwich <throat> on there. Uh, Nanette Mayhall cake was also right. was oh the man. Cakes there, so. so if you this is a free unpaid for advertisement for Beausoleil. If you're listening, you need to go to Beausoleil and try it out. Um, I've also heard good things about, like I said, the bar at your new uh, location. Um, yeah, I never for, finished that story. So we were able to take that that great. You know, we did the oysters, then we did the, uh, you know, had the incredible bar there. We added on a patio and then tried to. De- tried to create an entity within an entity right so we've got the city pork and then we've got the wild boar bar inside of that and we will as we get closer to the fall begin some programming whether that be live music or other events but it, it's just a great setup and and you know we want to make it more of a place that you can go have fun if that means we will stay open later there as, as time goes on that's that's one of our goals so, so my five-year-old you've met my son fisher before my sure? five-year-old on the regular asked me about bacon cookies <laughs> bacon chocolate chip cookies you know you know where he's had those yes, before of course um oh man the jefferson city pork is one of my staple like i love that place um i get the as a pescatarian teller i'll get the salmon appetizer there's some salad stuff i used to when i was on keto mm-hmm. i i ate the burger without the bread and all mm-hmm. that uh i could eat cheese back then and I, dude i miss cheese so much can't eat cheese now either dude i can't do dairy it's 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 like on the one hand i look awesome on the other hand, and I feel awesome. <laughs> I mean, Taylor's like, eh. You see me in the slim pants, though, man. Not skinny. I mean, you slim. look great. No, slim fits are in, man. I mean, so, so on the one hand, I feel great. Whether I look great or not is a point of, 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 of discussion. But on the other hand, man, when I was on keto, I was like eating cheese and meat like it was just like, eh, I don't have the bread, but yeah. I'll take as much cheese. And, and, and you could eat as much cheese and meat as you wanted to eat. So, yeah. No, Taylor, not only is he the best criminal defense attorney in Baton Rouge, but also the best looking criminal I am, defense. Well, you right? know, I'm willing to yeah. say I've seen some of the, the men that do criminal defense in this city. I'm up there. Yeah. I'm humble, but <laughs> Look, I'm up you're, there. You're the best criminal, you're the best looking uh, defense attorney I know. Thank Granted, you, Taylor. I don't Taylor. know if I know another one, but you're you're at the right. top of the Taylor, list. if you're trying to <laughs> ask right. me on a date, I will absolutely go on a date with you hey. to Beau Soleil. Let's go. So, Beau Soleil. That's yeah. Right. So, all right. So, Stephen, anything on the horizon that we need to know about that's going on with, with one of the many of your uh, restaurant group? Um, I had heard rumor. I don't know if it's official. Mm-hmm. I read an article that, that you guys might be starting a concept on government is we that, are yes. can you talk about that sure. or yeah okay. no it's 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 out there now so uh we, we're taking over the old bistro byron's oh, house yeah. on government street oh, yeah. uh that's going to be called spoken hub uh that'll be in the main house it's going to okay. be laid back casual you know americano with a twist is what i've been saying uh we're going to have a great pancake breakfast for anybody that's ever gone to nashville tennessee and went to pancake pantry i'm going to try to re uh, recreate I our think, version of that. I think up that'll there. do great there. So, I think that'll do great there. Um, I'm trying to think about. So you'll be open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or, uh, or just weekend week, breakfast? Week Friday, Saturday, Sunday, breakfast, it, lunch, and dinner. Okay. And so, then, uh, we'll, so I've always loved that space. Mm-hmm. I've, I've I've been seeing the construction done on it. I'm kind of curious yeah. what it's going to look like and when it's all done. Um, it did slightly break my heart that Byron's was Byron's yeah. is moving, and then I realized, wait, they're just moving. Like down the street a little bit so that's right um man that's that's gonna it's be exciting. good that's and actually uh in the back there there's part of the house that they used to use for their office so we're okay. actually going to turn that into the breaks bar so all of this is a play on biking and the road diet with government street so that'll be like a little it. speakeasy in the back uh that'll have its own little separate park so you don't have to make commentary stuff. on this this is going to be me ranting for a second mm-hmm. 
So if you're listening, Stephen Hightower is not participating in this rant. This is a Franz Borchardt rant. As someone that lives near government, and I mean near government, this road diet, I had this fantasy that like the road diet was going to be this marvelous thing that would allow me to traverse government like that. Right. Now, as a walker runner, yeah, there's sometimes I walk and run in that little lane until it's like, no, somebody's going to hit me with a car. Right. Yeah. <laughs> So, okay, you know where I'm going with this. There's a reason we don't have good things sometimes, sometimes. and I feel like the road diet is like a giant emblematic. Now, well, the beauty of that is the spoken hub will open. We're going to have bike, uh, what are they called, where you park your bike, yeah. bike areas, park your bikes. You can ride it right from your house over there and feel safe. So, so and that park, that, that restaurant has always had parking, which is nice, too. Um but it's gotten to the point, man, where I just I want to avoid, and I'm not no hating on the city of Baton Rouge, no hating on the government diet. I just try to avoid driving there unless I'm going to one of the good look, eatery on, places. On the way here, look, there's still work going on, so maybe oh, yeah. once all of that's done, then maybe I'm, it'll, maybe it'll I'm work. open to optimism. I'm mm -hmm. open to. So, dude, man, you've you've got all these great concepts. I've got some ideas for you. Okay, good. I mean, when I become a restaurateur, I'm sure. not. I just eat the food now, but. But now look, so seriously, you've got the new concept opening up on government. Mm -hmm. um, are you doing anything downtown? I was going to ask you about that. Not right now. Okay. we got about three minutes left. If you're just now tuning in, we're, we're talking to Stephen Hightower. Um, Stephen, the other thing we need to talk about, and, and, and I'm, I'm not putting you on the spot on the air, but I guess I'm putting you on the spot on the mm -hmm. air. Um, I'm participating in this American Cancer Society uh, fundraiser called Real Men Wear Pink. And I am organizing a bourbon and bow ties pink event. That's right. That's a lot, right? That's a extra. Lot. Bourbon, bow ties with a splash of pink. And I was talking to some of the people helping me out with this event, and everybody keeps mentioning the Wild Boar uh, Bar, like mm -hmm. as a venue. And I'm like, I'm like, where's that? I've never been there before. Right. And they were like, oh, it's one of those Stephen Hightower concepts. Okay, and I was like, great. oh, I know Stephen. So you're going to be hit up soon, uh, okay, let's and I do it. and I do want to point out something. Um, since I have you on the show, every single time since I was doing Baton Rouge brunches uh, to Go Rouge events, every single time I've done an event that had a charity component to it, you have you like the Cantros have jumped in, um, and and it really means a lot to me. Now, when I say jump in, I mean either gift card donations, percentage of the sure. tab, um, giving back to the city. So um, the enormity of your success right now to me is emblematic of your devotion to the community, to the city. So I'm not trying to get soft and flowery on you. I'm just saying yeah. you're buttered up now to when I ask you to host this party later, you know, you may be well, warm up to the look, idea. Count on us for that. Dude. I think that what you're not saying is that it was your initiation of a lot of these things that, look, giving back to the community, charity, charity events for us has always been core, a core right. of our mission. And not only to put out great restaurants, but also to be able to give back. And, you know, what you're doing on as far as in, initiating all of these great events, it's been part of what we, we've been about since the day we started. And, yes, we would be honored to be able to host that awesome. event at the Wild War Bar. So. Awesome. So the other side of it, of course, is, and, and this is the thing I always would tell restaurant owners is, the beauty of a fundraising event where a percentage is donated is mm -hmm. you're getting people into the restaurant. Sure that maybe had never tried it before. And their first impression is, man, this restaurant cares about this cause. You know, so if you're just now listening, uh, we're wrapping up our first segment with Stephen Hightower. Stephen, thank you so much for coming no, in. Thank you. Um, I'm going to be hosting for Brian Halday next week on Wednesday. I may see what your availability okay. is to come up talk. That's the, the bigger Talk 107.3 audience. That's the bigger Talk 107.3 audience. Um, that will be mornings with Brian Haldane, but it will be mornings with Franz Borkart. So, anyways, thank you, Stephen, for coming in. We're going to be taking our first break, Taylor. When we come back, we got some ladies taking over. It's going to be ladies' night or ladies' afternoon on the Go Rouge show. I don't really know where I'm going. The real talent. Now, yeah, the real talent is going to be coming in. No offense, Stephen. So, we'll be right back. If you're listening on Facebook Live, stick around. Okay. Cool. Thank you, brother. All right. I'll be in touch. All right, cool. I appreciate it. All right, ladies, come on in. Um. Tiffany, Brittany, and Courtney. <laughs> yeah, it's like gonna be awesome. Oh, it's all good. We're set up. Oh no, don't give them two. Just, okay, okay. just 
This is the picture with Stephen Hightower. This picture is the Stephen Hightower. I want my own picture. I don't want to be in the picture with Stephen Hightower. No offense, Stephen. There you go. Thanks. But can we all get one together? Yes. So guys, we're yeah, still fun. recording, so we, we do need to hop on really? the... Yeah, yeah. Hey, Facebook, this is what life is right now. Up and down. One Tiffany down. just, one, one Tiffany one totally down. just boxed me out of my own photo for my uh, own radio I took, show. I took directions from Courtney. She's leading the show. <laughs> All right. I love how Steven. So All right. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. All right. All right, guys. Y'all, y'all are gonna be sharing a microphone. Tail. No, you're on the other, you're on the side. What side am I on? Okay. You're sharing. You sure? Yes. You're you're loud enough to where that mic will be fine. All right. So, move the chair. Yes, sir. Where would you like the chair at? Just over there. Over there. You trust me. You want to stand. If you're watching, see. Brittany, right, wave to the camera, Brittany. Hi. Brittany's never been on the Go Roost show before, and you, you will have missed me telling guests that if you sit down, no matter how hot you are, no matter how toned you are, yoga, yoga instructor, everybody that sits down on this show in one of these chairs looks dumpy. So oh, well, you're, good. you're good. So I just sit down because I like to, to have okay, master where, control. Where so, can we see what we... <laughs> so, okay, one more time. Chair goes over there, Tiffany. <laughs> Y'all are going to be sharing two microphones. There's three of you, so two okay. of you can share one. That's cool. You have to talk That's in the microphone. Hey. So Tiffany doesn't want to be on the end. I don't end. want to be on the end. I'll be on the end. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start back with a two-minute intro, ladies, and then I'm just going to kick it off with you guys. So give me two minutes, and you, I'll feed it to you. <clears throat> That's fine. If you're tuning in, this is Courtney... Tiffany and Brittany, um, there's a reason they're on here. We'll figure it out. Um, but they are all in the real, real estate game. I ran into them at City Roots the other day, and they are working together, collaborating. And we had an interesting conversation about people from different industries that, that if you're being basic, if you're being basic, Brittany, you That's could say good, these, yeah. are competi <laughs> these are competitors or they're opportunities. We're going to talk a little bit about that uh, in the second half. And we're also going to talk a little bit about life. Dude, did you see? Did you see? I totally got Stephen Hightower to be okay with me hosting my party. You for did. Charity. I, I was at her. I mean, I totally said, talked him into it. I said, it. It was, he can't say no, no. It was on the right air. I had already talked to him before he came on. So it wasn't, it wasn't a total blind side. Yeah, I'm ready to go, man. All right, welcome to the second half of the Go Rouge radio show. If you're just now tuning in, this is your host, Franz Borkart. If you're listening on Talk 107.3 on Facebook Live, welcome. Welcome to the Go Roost Show. This half of the show, well, first, first half of the show, we had a restaurateur Stephen Hightower from City Group Hospitality. Uh, excellent segment, man. I'm excited about his new concepts. Um, in our second half, we've got some ladies on the show. You know how I like to have ladies on the show occasionally. Women in motion. You? Yeah, right. Wow. You know, the good way of getting attention as a moderately unattractive male is to have hot women on your show Taylor <laughs> because all of a sudden I think the term is clickbait or view bait so not not that I'm saying that y'all are view bait or anything I'm just saying so I've got Courtney Tucker from she's a realtor from Oak Real Estate also a yogurt instructor yoga not yogurt instructor yoga instructor I've got Brittany Duke a wonderful title attorney from Florida Lee Law and Title Company a former criminal defense attorney um Brittany, Brittany will talk a little bit about a poem that she she has um, read that has my name included in it. I did not write the poem; someone else did. And then, last but not least, T Tiffany uh, Tiffany Tuminello from GT Management Group. Um, all these ladies were hanging out. I was before we jump in. Before we jump in, I was minding my own business, just getting some coffee at City Roots. Um, and I saw these ladies sitting at the table, and I went over to talk to Courtney, and I got like a gravitational pull. <laughs> I got pulled into a conversation. Before we jump into that conversation, though, we're going to thank our show sponsors. These are the men and women, the businesses that make the Go Roost show possible. First and foremost, La Divina Italian Cafe, open every day with your custom made-from-scratch breakfasts. Ladies, have you been to La Divina before? On your recommendation, Oh, yes. my God, it's so good. It's good food. It's good breakfast. Good pizza, good 
good Italian yeah, dishes. Do you eat carbs, Brittany? I love carbs. All right. So, Brittany, <laughs> you're going to come up to the microphone a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. Up. Right. Like, like you own that microphone, Brittany. I mean, I do. Yeah, okay. right? So, <laughs> La Divina. It's Brittany. <laughs> yeah. La Divina, La Divina Italian Cafe. The Borkhart Law Firm, criminal defense firm. That's my firm. Sullivan Steakhouse. Your neighborhood steak restaurant. Knockout cocktails. We're all going... We're all going to eat yeah, dinner Tuesday there. night. That's Tuesday right. night. That's y'all right. are y'all are taking night. over Baton Rouge. So we are. Well, so we have a party of like what eight or ten. Yes. <laughs> those are those are low numbers though, Brittany. We gotta get those. That's, we gotta bump those numbers bit. up, Courtney. We gotta well, bump those numbers up. <laughs> table for fifteen. About seventy percent of the table are millionaires, if that matters. Okay, well that's not me. <laughs> we know that. Are it's they okay. already <laughs> <even> single <laughs> and like attracted to bald dudes? Because I mean, <laughs> perhaps. All right. Well, I mean, that's why y'all are going. So, anyways, and then last but not least. Dr. G, Dr. Gunja Reiner with MDVIP, Heal360, awesome concierge medical services. If you're looking to get healthy, and I say get healthy because I'm not talking about getting in shape. I'm talking about inside out. Um, you need to talk to Dr. G. She has made my life wonderful. Not to get sappy, not to get emotional, um, but I do feel fantastic on multiple levels inside and out, and she is in large part responsible for that. So call her up. Dr. Gunjarina, um, <clears throat> concierge medical services means that I get 24-hour medical access to her, which, if you haven't noticed, ladies, I have a need for constant attention and immediate gratification. <laughs> so, concierge That's services uh, mm-hmm. works fantastic. All right. So, Courtney, Brittany, Tiffany, welcome to the Go Roos Show. Courtney, we're going to start you. with you. So, Courtney... You are what I can only characterize, and I've told you this to your face. I've said it about you. Dynamic, energetic. Um, you mingle fantastic real estate skills with Thank you. some 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 disruptive uh, marketing in terms of your. And I say marketing. You really are into yoga. It's not like a. It's not like a, just a marketing ploy. I mean, you are into yoga. Right. I'm a student so, as well. You're a student as well. You're a student. A yoga student. You're a yoga student as well. So as well as an instructor. Oh my god. Yoga Lotties, love that place. Okay. So, <laughs> Courtney is doing everything. You were having coffee. Um, I'll give City Roots, even though they don't sponsor the show. I'll give City Roots a little love. City Roots. We is love City my, Roots, too. City Roots is my... Shout is out my, to Rocky. Yeah. So, City Roots <laughs> is near my office. So, I'm there getting some hot tea. And you three ladies, you're having a meeting with these these ladies. And another restaurant tour that I'm good friends with, mm-hmm. uh, Chase Lyons, What's going on, man? Are you just like taking over? I mean, are you are you moving some chess pieces? Because then I met Tiffany, mm-hmm. and I mm-hmm. met Brittany. Brittany is a title attorney. Tiffany does has a background in finance, but is also a property manager. Um, what's going on, man? Catch okay. Me up. Well, whenever I do business, I try to look at all aspects of the transaction and see okay. where I can push business to other folks that I know right. and who I support. So Brittany and I were at Ruth's Chris the other night and Tiffany and I had a phone call. We are working a transaction together and they did not have a title attorney. So I said, would you please take a chance on Brittany Duke? She's actually new at this, but she's aggressive. She's really good. She was formerly the best criminal defense attorney in Baton Rouge. Second only to Franz. Second to France. Wow. <laughs> no, but really. I believe they the, said the yes. word delusional is, is appropriate. No, no. I've heard good things. So I met Brittany when she was working for another law firm um, at Sullivan Shout. We were all Sullivan's. neighbors, actually. Um, and she made a, fan, as you might have guessed, she makes a fantastic first impression. So it doesn't surprise me that, that what you're saying about her as a title attorney is absolutely spot on. Um and then, so you've got you've got Tiffany in the mix. You've got- Let me say a little bit about how that actually happened, just to piggyback on the whole topic of our discussion. Back in December, we Tiffany and I started discussing a potential transaction that is now officially under contract, and like you know, sometimes that's how long it takes. So we've been getting to know each other this whole time, and the first time Tiffany called representing the buyer on something I was listing, she said, "Hey." we are actually calling to interview you as our buyer's agent. So tell me why should we hire you? Because we know you're going to get double the commission, which I'm like, of course, yes. Okay, well, let me tell you why. She doesn't mess around, man. It's like... 6% all day. Okay. So I said, well, the reason why you should hire me is because I have a great relationship with not only the owner, but quite a few people downtown. I have a lot of people on my team who can answer your questions, maybe if it's not me, but I feel like my connections are are what bring the value to the table and that's why you should hire me. And she said, okay. (laughs) And she hired me and now we're working one of the biggest transactions of my life, actually. Awesome. Congratulations on that success. So, okay, Tiffany, 
you're with a property management group, which I, I can imagine how hard it is to manage property, or maybe it's not that hard. I just people. It's people, right? It's it's herding kittens, right? I mean. Well, actually, I've spent 10 years in the banking industry, right. so right, right. I learned people. I learned how to read them before they even submitted an application. So people is actually what what we do. Um, you know, everybody does real estate investment, or you can actually be the person who can be the investor and the manager, and that's what we both get to do. And it's been an interesting transition from banking to property management. Um, but bringing that background actually has allowed for me to screen tenants in a unique way that not many people get to do. So Brittany's like the new kid on the block in this in this trio, right? I mean, newest to the industry. Mm -hmm. So do y'all haze her a little bit, or is, is yes, yes, yeah. okay? Can I, I mean, tell we've you? actually only been friends for forty eight hours. Right. I was going to say. <laughs> okay. So the idea was the idea was they we got into a philosophical Remember life discussion. <laughs> I was just about to comment on that. So, we have proof, uh, proof in a photograph that we haze her. Yes, yeah. they do. So, so hold on. They do only. They only have known each other for forty-eight hours. But well, in professional circles, yeah. yeah. But but in professional circles, I want to point out something. So I'm in a very competitive industry. But I've always said in my industry, in the law, I am always professional and nice to folks because you never know what's going to happen down the road. Mm -hmm. And the and the person that you have a contentious case with that you you handle it right and you're professional to them could be the next referral source. So it's interesting to me because not everybody in the real estate industry shares that world. Do you agree or disagree? Uh, well, I agree. Yeah. So it's interesting to me to see one some some strong personality women coming together supporting each other. Uh, you guys are planning some stuff. So, so okay, talk, let's go back to the hazing because I love the idea of Brittany being hazed. So, wow. so hazing Brittany, talk to me about that. Well, that can include nine ounces of wine at Ruth's Chris on her Calvin Klein dress. You spilled it or yeah. somebody spilled uh, more it More like you? I backhanded it. Yeah, right. it was like oh. a whole nine ounces too. Yes. I think she had maybe taken it. It was a fresh pour. Did she so, give yeah. you another glass after that to make up for the, the backhanded? Yes. Yes. No. And actually, I forced it upon her. She said no many times, but she got another glass. <laughs> so, for the record, Brittany doesn't take no for an answer, um, and I mean that in a non-weird way. So, okay. So, what? <laughs> okay. What? So, horizon-wise, um, one of you guys is involved in a mid-city group about lofts, right? Or, or that's or, what she's currently. So, talk to me about that because I was that was not on my radar. And I live in Mid City, mm -hmm. you know. Not that I, not that I need two residents in Mid City, but you know, one never knows. So, what are you working with in Mid City? So, I'm actually managing the Mid City Flats property. What is that? Um, it's actually lofts. I mean, not lofts, like flats. flats. So, I'm and sorry. actually, I, I had, said lofts. Yeah, you, you said lofts. So I said it. Um, and actually, Greg Howe. Rentals. Yeah, they're they're apartments. They're one yes. bedroom apartments, but um, they're very unique. And the most common statement I get when people walk in is this is so not Baton Rouge. Okay. Um, Greg Howell, who's the contractor, designer, um, and owner of the property, he has a very unique vision. And he pretty much brought something that Baton Rouge has not been able to see mm -hmm. in that in that environment before. And it wasn't just about the design. It was about building a community. And it was about being a part of growing mid-city. Where are these located? So they're um, across from Calandro's Meat Market that they yeah, just opened up. Yeah. It's about a half a mile from BRCC. Mm -hmm. And, you know, every, that's kind of going back to what I was saying with property management. I screen every tenant. So we created an environment to put the right people there. Not only did he build it to, you know, if you see it, they will come. Build it, they will come. But also we put the right um, people there that fit for Mid-City and that want to be in Mid-City, that love Mid-City, that are working professionals to create the community that we all want to be a part of. Mm -hmm. So when we were advertising this segment, someone who will remain nameless advertised scarcity versus abundance. Ooh. So I've got to ask, why is that the hot topic? What are we talking about when it comes to scarcity versus abundance? Courtney? Well, I, as you know, work in probably one of the most competitive industries that there are. It's 100% commission-based. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take a lot of credentials, really, to get a real estate license. It does take some time and a little bit of money. 
but there's a lot of realtors out there. So, you know, the competition environment is there just naturally. But what I have found through, I'm working on getting into my eighth year of real estate now, my best transactions were always the ones that I put together myself, meaning I saw someone who had a need and then someone who had something um, they wanted to offer. And I just brought the two parties together, did a dual agent contract at 6% commission, and it was done. There was no other agent involved. So I don't see that the agents in the field are competition. I, I feel that they're resources for right. when An I get into sticky contracts yeah. and I can call and say, hey, how can I get through this? Do you have any suggestions? And that's the type of environment I like to create when other agents call me. I like to treat them even better than I treat my own clients because they're probably going to be doing more transactions with me <clears throat> over the long run than the client who buys the one house. Right. And just to add to that, to that, at the prior bank I was at, it was difficult for us to be able to work together. Um, we, we didn't have a very good avenue to work with the real estate agents and the title attorneys, and we were missing that boat. I was missing that boat because I see the potential, you know, avenue that we can utilize each other. We can work together without competing against each other to, we have, we all have the same drive, the same passion. We're all here to do things for Baton Rouge. So we can do them together. So that brings me to Brittany. So Brittany, you're kind of the new kid on the block, mm -hmm. right? You're, you're a very good attorney, but in a newer industry, yeah. um, how do you, because part of your gig, I imagine, is not just doing the actual title work, but, mm -hmm. but getting business in the door, right? right? So how are you, scarcity versus abundance, how are you utilizing this concept to get out there and to, to shake the tree, so to speak, to get new opportunities, new business opportunities? Because title title is just as competitive mm -hmm. as finance and just as competitive as realtors. So and, and, and I say new kid on the block. You're not the new kid on the block, but I mean you're in a new you're in a new yeah, area. New, yeah, new industry. So yeah, it's really been interesting, but it's also something I'm super passionate about. Um, I love building relationships with people, you know, from the moment I met Courtney, like we just really hit it off and also Tiffany too. Um, and one of the things I really appreciated with Courtney was that she it was inspiring from the beginning. Like she um, broke that barrier of like, hey, you know, there's no competition. And she really like encouraged me and she, like told me like, hey, there's no competition. Don't, you know, it's, don't compete with other people. And so I've, I've always believed that myself. And I read something on Facebook the other day that was really good. And I wanted to share it today. And um, I've shared so you it with, weren't you know, just playing today. with your phone. You were looking for inspirational yes, messages. Yes, yes, I really was. I was, that I was totally sharing. here like, looking at you like, maybe she's bored. She just doesn't want to be here. No, no, no she's I was actually, yeah, awesome yeah I, I wanted to share. And, um, and so it's just a quote that I found on Facebook, and it says, In the kingdom, there's no such thing as competition. God has enough to bless you and your competition. Believing that someone has to fail so that you can succeed is evidence that you need a great, greater revelation of how the kingdom works. Amen. And that is just so good. Well, and so I've often said in my industry that, one, the cream, I do believe that the cream rises to the top. And yeah. The cream is not just I'm good at doing what I do, but cream is also, to me, the professional folks. Right. The folks that, that, that do what they say they're going to do, um, they're honest, they have integrity, they're ethical. Um, they, you know, one of my rules at my firm is I do not talk negatively about other attorneys. I may, I may not say anything, right. but I will not talk disparagingly about other attorneys. And, in fact, um, I try not to poach clients, which is to say if I get a call from somebody who's represented by an attorney I know, I try to navigate whether or not it's a community communication issue is it a right. is it a personality issue um, but there are certain tenets I try to live by professionally because I do believe that the cream quote unquote rises to the top I also believe in my industry like yours um, sadly in criminal law mm -hmm. there is way more work than any one person can mm -hmm. do right so in real estate there's a bunch of houses right right yeah. right, right. right there's a bunch of title work there's a bunch yeah. of, mm -hmm. uh, of of uh, houses or, or condos or units or whatever you want to, you're buying, selling, leasing, um, finance and management, there's enough to go around, right? Mm -hmm. And if you're willing to trample over something, this is me on my soapbox, by the way. If you're willing to trample on somebody for a jackal share, mm -hmm. you're never going to get a lion's right, share. Right. So right. going back to the kingdom. Yeah, no, that's good. And mm -hmm. yeah, treat other people with respect. And, you know, I when I first got, um, had passed the bar exam, judge. Wait, you passed the bar? You're a lawyer? Yeah. That's right. That's so. right. That's right. So. Kidding. We're, we're not kidding. just laughing, cackling girls. We, we actually. Well, you two have. definitely aren't. 
I'm still making the decision on. I'm kidding, Brittany. I love you to death. So when you pass the bar. Yeah. So when I pass the bar, I, I got a call from one of my mentors, Judge um, Blair Edwards. She's a juvenile judge for the 21st JDC. Shout out to Judge Blair. Um, and she had told me just, you know, gave me the speech on, you know, professionalism and how to go about my day. And when people ask you how you are, you know, you always say that you're blessed. And it's really true. I wake up every day and I'm so blessed. And just to be surrounded by people and to live out, you know, the professionalism. You don't talk about people. And to piggyback off what you said, you know, <clears> I <throat> never talk about other attorneys. And, yeah. You don't need to. Yeah, you just I, need I to really talk about yourself. To, yeah. Yeah. There's plenty to share there. Yeah, for sure. Well, and, and look, we live in a culture and a society, whether it's because of social media or just because we have a lot of messy human beings in the world, they live and thrive in the negative. I don't mm-hmm. want to live and thrive in the negative, mm-hmm. man. It just, yeah, me it's, either. It's, it's, I, I've, look, I've played in enough mud in my life to know what happens when you play in the mud. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm glad to hear that, that that's kind of, from an integrity standpoint, all three of you are looking at things from that angle. If you're just now tuning in, you're listening to the Go Roos Show. We're talking to Courtney Tucker, a uh, realtor at Oak Real Estate. We're talking to Brittany Duke, attorney at the Florida Lee Law, Law and Title Company, and then Tiffany Tuminello from GT Management uh, Group. Also has a little background in, in finance and banking. So, all right. So, ladies, we're going to change gears a little bit. It's going to be about me for a second. Can it be about me? The poem. Sometimes it's like me. Sometimes it's about I think it's I'll, been about you. If we go back through the... the, the oh, I'm, I'm no. all about it. Can we go through the chain? Of Can we go through the here? chain? Yeah, of messages. What, chain? what are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, there was a poem that featured me I'm, as a celebrity in the poem. Um, there is a poem... When I met mm-hmm. Brittany. The first, was, very first time. Didn't even yeah, know who he was. <laughs> we were at Sullivan's, and she got my first name, and one of her bosses at the time had written a poem about me, about criminal defendants and snitchery, and I, <laughs> I made a guest cameo at the end of the poem. It's kind of like being in a rap song, you know? Mm-hmm. I have been in a rap song before. I won't name the song or the, or the rap artist, but that has been... Shout out to Franz. So, no, it's not always about me, but I was going to talk. I need your help, ladies. Um, I'm raising some money to fight breast cancer. I've talked to you all a little bit about this. Real men wear pink. Um, so we are, were talking to Mr. Hightower in the first hour about a bourbon bow ties and pink event. So you can wear bow ties, pink, not necessarily bourbon, although I hear, you, Brittany, you Yeah, you can alcohol. actually wear bourbon. Did you have to get rid of that Calvin Klein dress? Or I brought it to the cleaners this morning, so we'll see. Fingers she will send crossed, me the bill, hopefully. Sing, fingers crossed, you'll be able to But Courtney through. definitely, <laughs> definitely has, can, can send me her title work for like the next year. Oh, I'm on it. That make up for, like, you're I've already seen five Calvin in like one week. <laughs> Brittany's like, you can burn my Calvin Klein dress for a little bit of referral. Yeah, All that's right. true. So, so I'm going to need to deal one new dress. So I'm going to need y'all's help on this front. Um, uh, both in, in wrangling up people to come to the event, but also uh, I've noticed that you're all fashionably wearing black today. Uh, they came strong. Uh, the, the, the shoe game is also on point two. I got to tell you, I like Tiffany's shoes the best. She's wearing Adidas yeah. right now. <laughs> yes, we know you're. We know you're into yoga and you can like lift legs. And <laughs> Just wanted that. to put a shout have out for my done, class. Have y'all done yoga with her yet? Yes. Yes. Okay. You're, you're no. coming soon. I have. Next, next week, she's actually committed. So, and she's so I awesome. wanted to do yoga with you. Oh, actually, yes. I wanted to actually make a little shout out to my yoga class. Hey, everyone. I know y'all are listening. Love you guys. But also, my class is every Wednesday at 6 p.m. It's been going on for years now. We only missed a handful of classes for COVID. It's rain or shine, 6 p.m., $10 a person. I almost always have wine, so you can wind down <laughs> while you get wound up. She won't but, spill it on you. No, I will not spill it on you, I promise. <laughs> but, yes, 6 p.m. at the Heron downtown. It's a luxury apartment complex that has a beautiful view of the entire downtown sunset so come join us it's great if people want to get in touch with you guys we got about a minute left where will they find each of you real fast Brittany? okay you can find me at Brittany duke b-r-i-t-n-e-y d-u-k-e on facebook or my number is 985-507-5914 that's aggressive that's my personal, right. cell. That's that's my personal <laughs> cell hit me up if you have any questions any way i can help you i'm here <laughs> you're not getting my number out there so, people <laughs> so when you have your first stalker Brittany, <laughs> yeah call me tiffany if people want to get in touch with you and uh, your property you, management group you, you can reach at uh br midcityflats at gmail.com and we also just did a facebook live at midcity flats so you can go check that out if you wanted to get awesome. A video and me just courtney tucker on facebook i'm super easy to find so that's about it for this episode of the go Roos show thank you ladies thank for you, coming Franz. on you certainly will not this will not be the last time you're on the show um i love you guys uh, i like what y'all are doing and i like the fact that you're bringing some positive energy um 
some good karma, if you will, to an industry that, that definitely. Namaste. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> so my five-year-old does, does yoga. Bring him. And he, and he says, Kids he'll look him. at you. He'll do his little fingers. He'll go, namaste. Aww. So anyways, uh, shout out to Fisher. Shout out to Fisher Borkhart. Anyways, uh, we will definitely come do yoga. Uh, I'm into yoga now, too. I, I, I'm on a little health journey, as we know. We'll talk about it. So, it. Taylor, next week, you and I, Wednesday, hosting the Brian Haldane Show. Man, it's going to be hot. It's going to be fire hot. That's the day Talk 107.3 is pulled from the airwaves. Dude, Sounds like a feeling. <laughs> I'm going to set it on. I've got a can of gasoline and some matchsticks. We're going to burn this I'm down. Ready to I'll do put it, it on Facebook Live. So, thank you guys for listening to the Go Roos Show. We'll be back. We'll be back. We're approaching episode 100. One, 100 episodes, and I'm done. Okay, that's not true. I won't stop at 100, but, but I could. But anyways, that's it for this week. Uh, we will be back next week with another episode. Stay tuned. And by the way, if you want more information on the Go Rouge Show, www.gorouge.com for all your episodes on demand. All right, done. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Facebook. Facebook, please don't stalk Brittany. Oh, oh my awesome. gosh, I know. Stalk Brittany Facebook. just put her personal Look, cell like, phone. Like, high five. <laughs> oh, you're, yeah. Call me. It's on my business cards. Okay. Like, did you see my face? I, I was know. like, I would have done it. I don't care. She's aggressive. I love People, it. Yeah, love you, it. Can find my, you can find my number on Facebook. Like, it's true. It's true. And probably everybody else's. I mean, I could easily look up your number. Right. We do all have White Pages Premium, you know. Like Bye, Facebook. <laughs> public information. Share, now. share, share, share. <laughs>